Hello, my name is Stu. If you're new here, this channel is all about breaking down different technologies into easily digestible chunks. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at clustering Microsoft Orleans with DynamoDB. To recap from previous videos, we've been using the local host clustering system, which is built in and out of the box. We need to change this over to DynamoDB so that when we deploy it to the remote environment, our services can talk to each other and form a cluster. So to get started with this, I'm going to right click on the project and click manage NuGet packages. Next, I'm going to search for Orleans Dynamo and I'm going to select microsoft.orleans.clustering.dynamodb. I'm going to install that package now and go back to my program.cs and change use localhost clustering to use dynamodb clustering. This takes a set of options that we can go and configure and we need to configure the service property. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. This tells the clustering system to use the local DynamoDB instance that we have running on our machine. Next, we need to configure two different options. The first is the endpoint options. So we're going to type builder.configure and pass in endpoint options. Don't worry if it doesn't exist straight away because we can press control and dot and select use Microsoft Orlean configuration. And then we can pass in the options here. On these options, we need to first configure the advertised IP address, which for this example, I'm just going to be using IP address and just make sure I bring in the namespace. I'm just going to use the loop back. Normally this would come from a DNS name or a static IP address that you assign to each silo. Next, we need to configure two more properties. The first is the gateway listening endpoint, and the second one is the silo endpoint. First, let's configure the gateway listening endpoint by calling options.gatewaylistening endpoint equals new IP endpoint. And we are going to allow it to listen to any host IP address on the port where we're going to have endpoint options. We're just going to listen to the default port for now. Now we need to repeat the same process for the silo listening endpoint, which we are going to configure in the exact same way. But this time we're going to use a default silo port. Now this is done, we need to assign the cluster a name. To do this, we configure the cluster options. And on the options, we need to set the cluster ID equal to my first cluster. This could be whatever name you want it to be. And the service ID, it can be the same. I'm just going to call it my first service. All being well, we can now start our Hello Orleans service. And we still have the same green implementation as we have in our previous videos. So now I'm going to close this down, which will close the service down. And now we can check what Orleans has done to Dynamo in the background using the Amazon NoSQL Workbench. So I'm going to go to my operation builder and I'm going to click open on my local stack configuration that I had from last time. And now you can see that we have two different tables. We have the Orleans green state which we configured in the previous video. And we have this new one called Orleans silos. The Orleans silo table tells us about the different running instances and which address a port they are running on and whether or not that is active. And that's it for this video. If you liked the video, click the like button down below and remember to click subscribe so you get notifications on future videos. The next video in our series with Microsoft Orleans and DynamoDB, we're going to be taking a look at call filters to add some observability to our cluster. See you next time.